Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Judge Perkins' courtroom in Michigan, where we encounter a sovereign who just doesn't seem to know the law or his rights or anything like that. And he opens his big mouth and winds up with 30 days in jail as a result of that. So, let's go ahead and sit back. Relax and enjoy watching a Sovtard make a complete fool out of himself. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. What is your middle, is your middle name? Boy, oh boy, you can tell what kind of uh, respect this guy has for the justice system and all its procedures when he wears a hat to the uh, proceedings. Oh man, that's really not going to hold up too well with any judge. Can you remove your hat, please? And your scarf. What is your middle name, Mr. Garner? Errol. Earl? No. He's on the 130 docket, Your Honor, I, I believe. James Garner, Earl Garner. James E R R O L Garner, right? Yes. You are on the 130 docket. If you want, Your Honor, I can give House Counsel an offer right now. She can report it to him. On James Garner, do you see all the cases he has? Uh, I see just the uh, four that are on the docket, or five. Yeah. He's got more? He's got plenty more. Okay. You want me to come down, review, and do a global offer? If you could, please. Okay, I'm on my way down. Mr. Garner, do you want to offer on these or do you want to go to trial? Okay. I would like to know what the charges are. Oh, don't worry your wax-filled head with that. The judge is about to read off every single one of your sovereign citizen acts of stupidity. And boy, is it a long list. So let's carry on, shall we? Okay. This is the city of Detroit versus James Earl Garner, case number SP1100435, counts one, two, and three. SP1169, that's those are um, driving a license expired. Uh, misdemeanor, no insurance, uh, insurance misdemeanor. Thank you. And an improper plate misdemeanor, all of them punishable by maximum possible penalty of. Uh, 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines. SP1169507, counts one and counts two, an expired license and no insurance misdemeanor, both punishable by 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines. SP1169521, same improper place, same punishment, $500 in fines, 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines, maximum possible penalty. SP1223079, one drive one license suspended. SP1273681, SP1092752, um, three of those tickets are uh, drive all, all punishable by 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines. SB 1547006 counts one, counts two, and counts three. Those are civil infractions. SB 1547407 counts one and counts two. Count one being a driver license suspended repeat offender. 
this one is in warrant status, probably an old case that he didn't pay, SB 800104, counts one and counts two, one being an unregistered untitled, he owes $1,194 on that. And um, and uh, SP and count two of that is a drug while license and proper. It looks like he has a $114 fine on that. Um, State of Michigan versus James Earl Garner, case number SX36268561. That is a drug while license expired. Um, and that will be uh, $500 maximum possible penalty. 93 days in jail and $500 fines. That, that is roughly 17 charges right there, my soft hard friend. But this is not the reason why you're going to go to jail today. Uh, you're going to go to jail because, well, your soft hard trash receptacle really doesn't know when to uh, shut its dang hole. For the record, please. Sherika Harris, on behalf of Mr. Garner. Mr. Garner, please state your name for the record. Uh, first off, uh, I do have a couple. You got to state your name first. You got to state your name first. No, Let's I think, start I think, I think, wait a minute, Miss Harris. Wait a minute, Miss Harris. I think okay. Mr. Garner is going to represent himself. Am I correct, Mr. Garner? I'm representing myself in what? I mean, oh, you're representing yourself in what? What did you say? Uh, I guess you should have done your homework. You know, like the kind of uh, thing that a lawyer would do. I'm confused about what's actually going on. First off, who who's alleging these charges? That's what I'm curious about. State of Michigan, city of Detroit. Okay, well, if that's the case, there's a common know. law principle which states that for there yeah. to be a crime, there must be a victim. Corpus delecti. The state cannot be the injured party. And in the absence of a victim, there can be no crime. Hi, you want to do you're drawing my name from the record on that one. Thank you. I know. How do you want to proceed, Mr. Garner? You set the matter. I'll enter a not guilty plea on his behalf. Give him a zero dollar bond. Either set the matter for trial or um, or I'll wait. I'll wait for the city to give you an offer. What do you want to do? Well, the court hasn't even established jurisdiction. I mean, in order for jurisdiction, the jurisdiction has to be established first, and there's no jurisdiction established. And once Are jurisdiction is challenged, once jurisdiction is challenged, that must be settled before charges can be brought. Where do Sovtards get this kind of bullshit from anyway? Oh, you don't have jurisdiction over me. I am not in your jurisdiction. Uh, dude, you uh, committed these violations in the state of Michigan, in the city of Detroit. You are most certainly under their jurisdiction, dumbass. And uh, the judge is about to prove that to you here shortly. All right, do you want to do you want to put that in a motion, sir? As as far as I'm concerned, any and all charges must be dismissed because there is no complaining witness. And the state right. cannot be a, well, I'm not going to I'm not going to listen. I'm not going to uh, I'm going to if I'm if you want if that's your motion, I'm going to deny the motion. Okay? So, all we're going to do now we're not going to keep, we'll keep going back and forth. Either you take an offer or you set the matter for trial. Which one Re do you want? Respectfully, in order for this to continue, there must be a complaining witness. And the state cannot be a complaining witness. Now, if I'm entitled, if I'm entitled to a fair trial, the law states there must be a victim. I'm, I'm, asked, I'm just requesting who is the victim who did i the injure? citizens the citizens of the city of detroit and the state of michigan are the victims the state and cannot be a victim and if that's I said the case the citizens, i said the citizens of the city of detroit and the state of michigan are the victims mr garner mr garner mr garner uh can, can we just go into a breakout room and, and then maybe i can give you a little bit of advice to assist you with moving forward 
Would you be agreeable to that? Sure. Okay. Awesome. I'm sorry, ma'am, but uh, do you actually think that uh, this soft heart is going to take advice from you? According to his philosophy, you are an agent of an illegitimate government that should have been abolished uh, uh, quite a long time ago. Uh, but so, yeah, he, you've got nothing to say to him at all. But that's really about to come around and bite him in the ass because... Well, since he's not going to listen to you or the judge or anybody else, the judge is well going to show him how it really works in the real world. I believe he's ready, Your Honor. He's uh, representing himself. Let's go back on the record with Garner. What do you want to do, Mr. Garner? Do you want a, you want a trial date or do you want an offer? Those are, those are really your only two options. Okay, since we are on the record, all I'm asking for is the corp Okay, is one the last time. One last time. Now, now listen. Here's how it's going to go from this point on. If you don't answer the question that I asked specifically, then I'm going to hold you in contempt of court and we're going to move from that point on, right? And so it begins. So you're telling me, Mr. No, Mr. Garner, you're, we're so not going to have a conversation. We're not going to have a conversation. Stop, sir. Stop, sir. Now, that's so the last time I'm going to ask you to speak on the law. Is that what I'm hearing? All right. I'm asking. I'm, I'm going to hold Mr. Garner in contempt of court. He is because he is directly violating the court's order. I've asked him repeatedly to not uh, 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 interfere or, 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 or add any extra commentary to this case. I've given him ample time to answer the court's question and he continues to refuse to do so. So now I'm gonna hold you in contempt and I'm gonna sentence you to 30 days Wayne County Jail, no early release. So that means that the court is just going to violate my rights because I'm defending myself? Is that what I'm hearing? 30 days, Wayne County Jail, no early release. That'll give you some chance and some time to read up on your rights, okay? Fill out the contempt papers, Mrs. Um, Madam, uh, uh, and so I, I'm going to order you to turn yourself in today, Mr. Garner, to start that jail time, okay? So I have a question. I'm not answering any more of your questions. Turn yourself in to the Wayne County Jail today. So the court is going to be in direct violation of my rights in the law. Is that where, is that where we're standing? If that's how you feel. Have a good day, sir. Well, if you play stupid games, you're going to win stupid prizes. You don't know the law, dude. You never did. You think you do. You think you know your rights, but you don't. You just been uh, spoon-fed all this garbage by some soft-tarred guru, and now look what it's cost you. You're going to get 30 days from a judge who's not exactly going to play around with you. He's going to make you do that jail time before he even deals with you again. So balls in your court, moron. You can do this the easy way, or you can do it the hard way. And if you do it the easy way, maybe you'll come out of this with, uh, well, something a bit easier to deal with as far as any punishments that may come from your charges, if you cooperate. But I really doubt that's going to happen in your situation. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.